When they're not researching people on the internet to perform a hot read on someone, those claiming to be psychics love to edit out or gloss over all of their failed predictions and pass their lucky guesses off as paranormal powers. They usually get away with it too, managing to fool 41% of Americans into believing that psychic powers exist. They know that most people won't take the time to go and fact check them. And that's where I come in. I'm here to show you the bigger picture. The psychic cringe fails. Enjoy. She is a nationally known Chicago psychic who has a unique way of seeing the future through coffee. I pour regular coffee mm -hmm. into a cup mm -hmm. and then I'm able to see, when I pour cream into it, I'm able to see letters, numbers, body parts, faces. That's called your reflection. Everything in the coffee. Bullshit. You're talking bullshit. I used to drink 30 to 40 cups of coffee a day. Prince William? Prince William. Uh -huh. And Kate? Yeah. Uh -huh. I've been saying this for a while, but I really see you twins. Didn't okay, you we say that last that year or the year before? When they got married, the year they got married, you she said that. She did say twins. We have it on tape. Mm -hmm. The year that they got married. So that would be really strange if that did Well, like they're saying that's the reason why she has such bad... Um, right, the morning sickness. Morning sickness yeah. right now. So... How'd she do? The royal couple had announced their pregnancy almost a month before this prediction, and gave birth to... Not twins. But... They got pregnant again, and two years later, gave birth to not twins. But they got pregnant again and gave birth to not twins. Whoops, oopsie daisy. We decided to put the celebrity medium to the test. We asked her to meet us at the most haunted spot in New York City. Oh, who wants to find an old haunted village? No. I'll tell you what I heard. It could be your mother saying this. I have to wait a minute or two. You have Uncle Jimmy? Uncle James? No. I say yes. She got many things wrong, like what my children look like. I just see one thinner and one is regular or a little maybe heftier. I'm looking at body type. Both, no, both are pretty fit. Personal details. You didn't lose a baby? No. Like a miscarriage or no, something? No, no, All right. But sometimes she got close. Do you have one sister? Mm -hmm. Is her name like Sheila or Sha Sha Sha? I keep hearing Sha. Her name is Sandra. Meh. M-E-H. Meh. Your mother, is it true that she helped raise somebody else's daughter? Hmm. Okay, sure, yes, true. She has another sister. What's your other sister's name? All right, give me a minute, okay? Diane. Is it? It is. Oh, well, I was surprised that she got the names wrong. That's what she said. But on a hunch, I decided to Google myself, and there it was. My mom's obituary. In it, Aunt Diane's name, among other details. Hmm. Yeah. Are you wondering what your favorite celebrity will be up to in 2016? Well, we've enlisted the help of psychic medium Cindy Tryon to share what's in store for the stars this year. Let's start with Lady Gaga. They show me that there's a marriage coming up for her, but there's somebody trying to put a roadblock or there's some interference coming is what they're telling me. But I see hands that are going to be very strong united and they're showing me that the marriage is going to go through um, whatever the issues. According to TMZ and People, Gaga and Taylor have officially ended their engagement after months of speculation that they were on the outs. Edward Arthur Dames perfected remote viewing methods and techniques employing his technical remote viewing training, which guarantee his commercial clients an unprecedented 100% data accuracy rate. We have an economic collapse a little over a year from now. Very quickly, we have deforestation, and we're looking at a barren earth. People are going to start moving underground and into ha uh, habitats or strong structures, but food is going to be an extreme problem. Do you know offhand how many of us get plowed under? It looks like around 80%, possibly 85 uh, nominally. Grim, this is totally bleak. How much confidence do you have in this? And uh, the economic collapse and, and the pathogen 100% or I wouldn't be talking about it on the show. Is this irreversible? It's, uh, it's out of our, our hands right now. This will begin about a year, a little more than a year from now. We'll see this. Boy, I didn't have a hint this one was coming, folks. I feel fantastic and I'm still alive. Believe it or not, despite having an abysmal prediction record, allegedly worse than chance, Ed Dames is still predicting the end of the world any day now. It's going to be a Mad Max scenario. That's what you're going to be confronted with. It is absolutely critical or you're going to die. Fear mongering to sell his remote viewing course. Put your life back in your hands and obtain the information that may be the deciding factor for your survival. Wait a minute, did that just say zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Who 
totally did. To find out what my future holds, I'm booking appointments wired up with hidden cameras. What is it saying about my relationships? Marriage, kids? No, not marriage right now. What I do see is that you haven't met your soulmate yet, but you will. But it does show a relationship for you happening next year. A relationship next year, but no marriage. No marriage, not for right now. Tell that to my wife. Sorry, honey. It also shows me she has an accent. She's not American. Remember, I'm already married. She's an American, and no, she doesn't have an accent. And if you make her fit, I'll tell you how many kids you're going to have. Two. I'm going to have two kids? Yeah. What are the sexes? Well, it seems like you're having boys. All boys. That's it. Nope, I have two daughters and one son. Do you see kids for me? You are metallic, but not right now. Whoops, wrong again. After we're done, I go back to properly introduce myself. Hi again, I'm actually from NBC News, and we're doing a story about psychic readings. Oh my god. I didn't see that one coming. I didn't even see it coming. I didn't see that one coming. You didn't see it coming. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. Oh my god. Are these readings not accurate? No, they aren't. But I am married and I have kids. I understand that. And sometimes within a reading, it'll pick up a past life. That's not what you told me, though. Yes. Listen, if you want your money back, I will give it back to you. If you don't, then you need to get out of my store. Hi. Uh, the one who just gave me the reading. Oh, she stepped up. She's coming back or not working? So we come back later. They've now put this metal gate in front of the door. It's the lock. And even try a third time. I know. No. Everybody's talking about three weeks away from new president, the year of Trump. Oh, I know, Trump. I know. What is going to happen? There's a lot of opposition around him this year and possibly impeachment within this oh. year. Well, next year, money. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In 2017. Yeah, right, in 2017. Yeah. That soon. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. If I give you guys like a name of a YouTuber, do you feel anything? Yes. And then if oh, it's sure. too far, we'll cut yeah. it out. Let's start with PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's, he's um he's gonna kind of, I also see him moving a little bit away from it too. I do too. Within a couple years. Yeah. He's wanting to transition out of it eventually. Because I feel like he's kinda hit not hit a wall, but he's kinda hit the ceiling with what he can accomplish with it. And I feel like he's kinda wanting to do something different. Okay. Uh, so I think in a couple years he could transition into something else. Whoa, holy moly! Oh wait, that's from an article before this reading. Here's what actually happened. It's been four years and PewDiePie is still putting out content at an insane rate. He went toe to toe with the entire nation of India, fighting a massive media conglomerate for his throne as the most subscribed to channel, quadrupling in size. And as I record this, he literally just broke 100 million subscribers. He's kind of hit the ceiling with what he can accomplish with it. Here, let me serve your bitch lasagna. The person that passed with the overdose, what's the relationship specifically my, to you? My father. Your dad. Okay. Does he have a brother who's also passed? No. Yes, he does. He only has a sister. There's another male that's with your dad on the same level. <sighs> There's a J or G connection to that family. His, his wife. Would be the J or G? Yes. Does she have the brother figure who's passed? No. There is a male contemporary to your dad on the same level. So if this is your father, you either have a father-in-law, an uncle, there's another male that's on that same level that's there. I can't think of any. Sure you do. Uh, I got all night. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. He has a sister. Okay. And Unless she has a penis, it's and not her. She only, and she only has, his wife only has sisters. There's a male contemporary and there's a J or G connection that comes up. So if your dad's acknowledging the alcohol and or drugs or the consumption of how he got there, right. I'm telling you there's another male contemporary that he's got. Husband, brother, cousin, friend. It's on the same level that he would be on. There's a J or G connection that comes up with us. No, no yes. nothing I can think of. Uh, yeah. I I'm, I'm just want to make sure that it's me that you're talking. Well, that's about. my job, not yours. Oh, okay. You're fired. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course. So I'm a pet psychic? Okay. Can I talk to your horses? Sure. Oh, honey. <laughs> When you tighten his girth at first, you're doing it too fast. He doesn't mind it tight because it's too fast. Did you ever notice that with him? Oh, honey. He says his hoof inside the front right is sore. It's sore? Yeah. Does he feel lame to you at all? No. Oh, honey. What did you think about it? I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Did you believe it? Huh? Did you believe it? I would say that I'm skeptical. How about you? Uh. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I've sold me yet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fake laugh.
laughs, hiding real pain. There's still no sign this morning of a Malaysian Airlines jet that disappeared nearly 72 hours ago. Sea or land? I don't see it in the sea. Okay. I don't see it in the sea. I don't believe that it is in the water. I don't. Malaysia's Prime Minister says investigators have a positive ID on a piece of plane wreckage that washed up on a tropical island off the coast of Africa. This broken bit of airplane wreckage washed up on the French island of Reunion in the Indian Ocean. When someone dies unexpectedly, they kind of remain earthbound, so they relive what happens to them. So they stay attached to that area, or they kind of stay attached to where they last were, because they're thinking, am I dead? I don't know. Because yeah. time and space collapses. This guy is so full of crap that if he was Pinocchio, NASA would have commissioned his nose as scaffolding for a space elevator. So whether it's 100 years, or whether it's 10 years, or 5 years, or 5 days, Time is an illusion for spirits, mm. so it's all as one. I saw a similar sort of theory written out on a wall, but it was written in shit. <laughs> it was the roundings of someone you'd find by themselves in a hospital eating flies. I really feel that that plane is intact, and I, honest to God, feel that not everyone is dead. Were you very young when your dad passed? No. So there's a young, well, what do you consider very young? My, my dad just passed two years ago. Okay. Who would I'd like to think I was very young. <laughs> We've got my psychic bananas ready to predict your futures. We're going to go to our first call. Yeah, Will no, Wales win the football on Friday, okay. says Erin. Uh, and the answer is... Ah, <gasps> that's the perfect yes. That is Can a... you see the why? Yeah, that is a big, big yes. Well, I sure could be wrong here, but I get such a, a great sense for the White Sox this year. The White Sox? Mm. I really do. Okay. I really do. The White Sox were the second worst team in their entire league that year. You are literally a worse psychic than a banana. You said that you predicted um, some health issues for Selena, but you're also predicting a pregnancy for her as well. I am. A lot of pregnancies and splits in Hollywood this year coming up in the year 2014. If you like this video, make sure you check out my Psychic Cringe Fails Parts 1 and 2. And I also have an entire series exposing psychics that walks through the methods that they use to fool people, the harm that's done by this pseudoscience, and how we can properly test paranormal claims scientifically. I've also done interviews with James Randi, Banachek, and tomorrow I'll be releasing an interview I did with Dr. Ray Hyman, who the Department of Defense hired during the Cold War to investigate and test for psychic phenomena. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell button so that you don't miss it. And if you're so kind as to want to support my work promoting scientific skepticism and critical thinking, you can make a one-time donation on PayPal or place an ongoing pledge on patreon.com slash holy kool-aid. And if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get yours via my merch store. Links to everything are in the description below. And last but not least, thank you so much to all my current patrons and donors. You guys are amazing. You freaking rock. And as always, dare to be curious, but don't drink the kool-aid. Did you find this person? No. They were also telling me to talk about California. Why is California so prevalent here? What's out west? Nothing. Yes, it is. There's a western pull. So I don't know if somebody's out there now um, or if somebody was out there when this happened. If somebody had just gotten back from the west.